Hey guys, my name is Antronique and this is my friend Aaron and we are going to go through the warm-up sequence for the body weight fitness recommended routine. So these are all dynamic mobility uh, drills. If you're confused about any of these exercises, there are individual videos for all the exercises, but we're just putting them all together. And by the way, we're in beautiful San Francisco where behind us is the Golden Gate Bridge. So, and it's a beautiful day, it's not raining or anything, it's just, you know, California. So, we're really happy to do this, so let's get going. We're going to start with our shoulders, alright? So, shoulders, we're going to start with, I'm going to face you Aaron, so, and I'll be sideways, and yeah, we're just going to start with some shoulder rolls. Roll your shoulders forward as much as possible, up to your ears, back together, and down. Once again, forward, up to your ears, back, and down. One more time, forward up to your ears as big of a circle as you can back and down nice now we're gonna do the same thing but we're gonna go on hands and knees so we're just gonna set up like this just our hips over our knees and our shoulders over our wrists and uh, let's move back just a little bit here yeah. nice so now just do the same shoulder roll in a big circle I'm going to watch you, Aaron. Very good. Take your time. And your elbows should be completely locked when you do this. Your elbows may want to bend, but try to keep them straight. Now switch directions. Basically, when you lock your elbows out, all the movement comes from the shoulder blades. And we want to warm up those scapular muscles. Nice. Very good. Now from here, let's move on to uh, scapular shrugs. Scapular shrugs, instead of going in a circle, instead of doing a circle, a roll, we're just gonna move them forward and back. But on your hands and knees would be ideal. Like, and I'm just showing it from behind. So it's like protraction, retraction. All right? So. Let's just do about five to ten of these. And again, try to keep the elbows straight. Basically push through the shoulders and then let the chest go through. Now we're going to go through uh, the cat camel portion is also known as cat cow, where we just for our spine, where we try to move it one vertebrae at a time. So again, on hands and knees, we just, in the beginning we start with, uh, let's say, sticking our butt out and looking up, and then exhale, round your back, tuck your tailbone, maybe look at your belly button. Inhale, look up, arch your back, and exhale, round your back. Inhale. When you want to make things more challenging, just tuck your toes and lift your knees just an inch or two and continue doing cat cow with the knees slightly lifted. That was great. Now from there, we're going to move on to a couple other things. That's it. <laughs> All right, now we're going to use bands. And so we got bands in our hands magically to do this. All right. We're going to start with a straight arm overhead pull down. So it's really simple. Just hold the band up above your arm and make it taut so that when it's over above your head, just have it be taut and then just lower down so it's just about be, be below behind your shoulder blades and up we're just gonna do like five to ten of these and keep your arms straight as you do this
All right, for the next exercise, we're gonna stop it behind our shoulder blades here and then bring the hands forward and spreading our shoulder blades apart, protraction, rounding our back, pushing through, and then retracting back with control and then bringing it forward again. So that's the next level here. So we work in a slightly different plane. And Aaron here has his palms facing up and I have my palms facing together. You could do either one. Either way, whatever feels good for you. Just focus on pushing through the shoulders and then when you return, retract with control. We'll do a couple more here. All right, and then for this, we'll hold it back here for five, four, three, two, one, and bring it up overhead and down. So the next thing is dislocates, band dislocates, which are really simple. It's just, we go up and back all, all the way around. And elevate your shoulders as you pass through it to give even more clearance. Very good. Arms straight the whole time. If your arms, if your elbows are bending, you're using uh, too much tension. And if you feel it's gotten easier since we've done a few, you can maybe wrap the band around one more time to tighten it one more time and then go through the motion. Great. Awesome. Now that we've warmed up our shoulders, we're going to warm up our wrists because that's important. Okay. <laughs> so let's just get on hands and knees. And for, for the first one, we're just going to uh, keep the fingers down the whole time and just only pulse the palms up. They also call these first knuckle push-ups. And we're doing everything on hands and knees because it's easier that way. But a lot of these things can be done in a plank position if you have strong enough wrists to do them. All right. So the next position is just where we, we just move on every knuckle. So my palm is in the air and I'm just moving through each palm, uh, through each knuckle. Yeah. Uh, you got flexible fingers. Nice. Nice. Next, we put the fingers facing sideways and we just rock side to side. We rock to the side until the other arm becomes light. Nice. Next, let's put our palms up, fingers facing us, back like this, and just dynamically sit back toward your heels and come back up. Almost everything we do here is in this warm up is dynamic because uh, it's much better to warm up the joints doing dynamic movements. Next, you can do the Star Trek salute thing and shove your fingers, uh, shove your knees between them there, and then pronate uh, with your finger uh, with your palms facing up. Yeah, and then you could move your elbows, supinating and pronating your arms. Now, palms flat, hands flat, and just supinate and pronate your elbows. We 
get a little more range by doing this. Nice. Next, place your hands backwards with your palms facing down. And to make the stretch easier, bring your knees forward. Now just dynamically sit on your heels and come back up. Just flirt with the end range and come back up. Try to keep the heel of the hand down as you sit back up. And to make the stretch more enjoyable, here are some awesome people having fun at Santa Monica's Muscle Beach. This stretch could feel intense or painful, but it's also very important because it gets your wrist ready for push-ups, handstands, and any other exercises that require lots of wrist extension. All right, now let's get back to reality and do our final stretch. From here, let's put the palms down facing forward and start leaning forward so our hands and wrists get used to being put into extension under load. Just lean forward and come back dynamically. Keep your elbows straight. And if you're really comfortable here, you can even raise the knees slightly to load them up a little more. But that's a personal decision you have to make. Everyone's a little different. All right. Now our wrists are plenty warmed up and we can move to working out. Hands to hands. Yeah. <laughs> if you like this video, Please subscribe to my YouTube